Hello and welcome to this video. We have been trying out Gusto for the last few weeks so I thought we would show you what we thought of that and how it compared to HelloFresh. If you are interested in HelloFresh we have also done a similar video which I'll link up here. But as I say, throughout the couple of weeks I've filmed a few clips about the box arriving and the mills and stuff so I will add them in now and you can come back and we will share our thoughts. So the Gusto box has arrived so let's open it up and see what we ordered and how it's packaged and stuff. I don't know why that amused me but it does and it's true no one wants spruce veggies. So here's the inside of the box so that we've gone for spicy sausage tomato spaghetti um, smoky chicken skewers with red pepper salsa. One pot spiced lamb orzo with crumbled feta. And Mexican pulled chicken burgers with paprika fries. So obviously with each one you get the recipe on the back. Um, what's this then? given us a looks like an advert essentially little magazine ah so then the chilled bits in a box unlike with hello fresh but that's the ice pack and then all of this needs to go in the fridge so bear with me and I will come back to you. I'm a little bit confused at the moment because we don't seem to have all the meat but we'll get there. So we've got a bits and bobs recipe which has got a number which I assume corresponds to the recipes. Okay I found the rest of the meat it just wasn't in the chilled bit weirdly. Let me go and sort out that dog. I have to say I think I prefer the way that HelloFresh do it just with the bags of everything because I've got tons of like loose potatoes here, which what am I doing with them? Um, so yeah, I think I prefer the way the HelloFresh packages. So I forgot to film anything yesterday, but what are we having today, Pete? We'd like to have a look at looking. Got some chicken, which is like, you to keep it moist on you to keep flipping it every now and then. But... watching our academy team as well, well um yeah this is a uh, made it into a love heart chicken with like oregano well, I can tell you actually all the herbs are in it you can just tell me what the uh, meal is ground cumin dried organo and chili flakes and salt mixed together and rubbed over the thing and that's like a tomato paste which we made with water and um and tomato paste <laughs> Um, well, what are we eating? Oh, we're eating a Mexican pulled chicken burger with paprika fries. Paprika fries are in there. What I've noticed with HelloFresh, no, with Gusto compared to HelloFresh, they think they tend to have more spices. They seem unless we, we just picked the ones spicy there, ones. Sure. How's the cooking process? I would say this is the the, the recipe thing isn't as good. Like it's not as clear. Like it's not as. I mean, it is clear. It's very clear, but pleasing to the eye to read is not quite as nice but actually I think it's fine so and it came out the meal that came out yesterday I thought was best than a lot of the HelloFresh ones so the choices are definitely different from yeah, HelloFresh HelloFresh has a lot of like pastas and, and like risottos and things this seems to have a lot of Mexican-y these ignoring me now um, stuff like that yeah or at least the choices that we had because the second time we did hello fresh we got better choices of meals yeah i don't know both, i think i think this one had more choices didn't it so i don't know we'll see we'll see how they go there we go um, finished dinner Ta -da. so there you go that's the gist of it now we'll share our thoughts so in terms of the actual arrival of the food I do think HelloFresh packages it much better. Obviously everything you need in a meal is in one bag with HelloFresh whereas you get 
lots of loose bits and bobs, lots of bags of stuff. But obviously I don't cook. So. I think at the gusto you are chucking away tons of little bits of plastic constantly. Like you're opening all these tiny little packages and then just put them in the bin kind of thing. Whereas I'd say more of HelloFresh is, is recyclable, but it's not all as well. No, I mean, you, you obviously yeah. comes in plastic packages, some of that, but it yeah, just yeah. feels a bit better. Also, with our first box, half the stuff wasn't in the um, cool bit. A lot of our meat wasn't in that part of the box, and that confused me. Whereas yeah. you do get that bag with... Yeah, well, no, I would actually say I just said about the recycling thing, but actually... The bigger stuff, like the actual boxing and everything, is probably less recycling in the gusto. So it might actually be more, more recycling in the gusto. There'd be less in the in the bigger parts, but it's the small bits that are not. That doesn't make sense, Pete. It does, as in like the packaging is more recyclable. Yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah. it's less recyclable. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah. yeah. so the, the the bigger part is more is more recyclable than than how fresh is, but the smaller parts, as I say, are less. So it might even out itself out. I don't know. The meal selection. I do think there's a lot of choice, and there's a lot of stuff that we liked. I do find that most of the meals on Gusto are ones we just make anyway ourselves. So there's always the fajita there, burgers we make ourselves, different things like that we already do. So that's what I found a bit. But they kind of add extras to that recipe, like more ingredients and kind of adding different flavours. So it's the same thing but just done slightly better I'd say. But I didn't find that with HelloFresh. The meals we got from Hello Fresher Mills, we probably wouldn't have cooked yeah, they ourselves. Yeah, they were different meals, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Whereas Gusto feels a bit more, you know, everyday food, if that makes sense. Also, I know it's our selection, but a lot of them are blooming spicy. Yeah, it does say in the cards, it always says if you can handle the spice or if you can't handle it, you know. But if it's there, I'll put it in, so, yeah. We had a week where every meal was spicy in that. That didn't suit me very well. I got a bit fed up and looked forward to the days where we didn't have the box. Um, we have made slightly better selections recently in the last boxes where it's been a bit more of a mix. I obviously like the spicy food. Like, it's nice. I just like to taste my food rather than just spice. That's the whole point of spices, is it the taste? Well, it's not because it masks every other taste that there is. But if you don't like spice, it does it. So what, what's the point in just eating burn when I could actually eat a nice meal? Yeah, okay. Conversation between people who like and don't like spices. No, but you know what I mean. All you taste is spice. That's not tasting the flavours of a meal. That's tasting one flavour. That's like saying if you have a raw steak and a well-cooked steak, it's like, oh, all I can taste is blood. Or all I can see is blood. Or, you know, that's why I want my steak well done. It's just people's preferences if they prefer it with spice or not. Oh no, I get it's people's preferences, but I prefer to actually taste multiple flavours in my meal. I can still can. Rather spice. than one. I still can as well. I mean, I can't comment on cooking because I don't do that bit. Yeah, they're a bit... I mean, they're all... Uh, this, this cooking was the same in terms of, like, the meals are between 20 and 40 minutes to cook and you have to very much be cooking for that whole time. And that's the same for HelloFresh and for Gusto. The recipe cards are probably easier to follow on... Hello fresh, but not necessarily better. Just probably so you, probably but... graphically better. But does that matter? does that really matter? Doesn't it? Well, it probably does because <clears throat> you've got to follow the recipe to make yeah. the meal. Yeah, true. But with all of these things, I'm not convinced that if you didn't get them in a discount and we got four weeks of gusto on a discount, that they're really that like worth it. I know it's the ease of it all, but, but it's not ease. That's the problem. But like, I actually don't think it's easy. Like, again, you have to cook for twenty to forty minutes. No, of hard no, cooking. it's the ease of not having to go to the shop to buy your meals, to plan your meals, to yeah, but to try yeah. and portion your meals. Uh, and and that that is something. But as you say, I don't think that's worth what is double or triple the price it cost you to buy it. Probably double the price it would cost you to buy it separately. With HelloFresh, did they give you an hour window? Yeah, I think so. Or two hours or something. Yeah, one hour. Yeah. And Gusto doesn't do the whole hour window thing, does it? Yeah. Gusto is like a whole day in HelloFresh now. So it makes it sound like we prefer HelloFresh, which is not necessarily true. I think... The freshness of the food was better than Gusto. Yeah. 
Ironically, HelloFresh isn't as fresh. In terms of like the, the vegetables and the uh, meat and stuff, I think it's better for Gusto, yeah. Yes, definitely. And I do think the meal selection's probably better on Gusto, even though it is. I'm not sure if it is. I don't know. Because I found with HelloFresh that it was all like the same thing. It was just like six choices of pasta and then like one other thing. Yeah, yeah. Whereas there definitely was a lot of choice. But then we did HelloFresh again over summer because, again, we found a deal from. So that was a few months after we filmed the video that I said about earlier. And the choice then was better for HelloFresh as well. So I don't know whether it's a seasonal thing because, obviously, the first time we did it, we did it in January when it's winter and they think you want... I would say overall they're as good as each other. Yeah, pretty Um, much. Whichever one you can find a deal for... Go for that one. And whichever one you prefer the meals of that week, probably. Yeah. 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 Um, both have pretty much the same ease of using the websites and ordering the food and all of that kind of stuff. In fact, I, I had issues with both their websites in terms of their websites both need work on. Hello Freshers, we had so many issues with the, the voucher codes. And then Gusto, they keep, it keeps saying there's nothing in your next deliveries and you have to keep refreshing it to get it to get it work and stuff. So both of their back-end websites are rubbish compared to what they should be. <laughs> um, <coughs> but yeah, they're the same as these. But yeah, so there you go. That is our review, our comparison of HelloFresh and Gusto, both meal subscription boxes. We say go for whichever one's cheapest at the time. I'm sure that's really helpful. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We, if you have, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you fancy it, please go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. You didn't do your pointing this time.